What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Today is August 11th, 2019. And if you are listening or watching, you are listening or watching to the Marcel Brothers podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to my MVP crew. Today we are riding solo with me, myself, and I. So I would like to use this as an opportunity to do another Dear Ophelia. Those of you who are new to the MVP crew, we have different topics that we discuss during different weeks. Today, I want to go over one of our Dear Ophelia series. So just as a recap real quick, we have done three. This, is, this will be number three for the Dear Ophelia series. And in Dear Ophelia, it's my opportunity to be able to share my thoughts and my advice to my daughter Ophelia as she's growing up. We decided to look at a Women's Day article. The name of the article is Eight Lessons a Father Can Teach His Daughter. Discover the unique guidance only a dad can give his little girl. This article is written by Alexandria Gikas. And what we did is we had two previous episodes. The first episode was with regards to embrace your assertiveness. And the second was seek out healthy relationships. So I would like to use this as an opportunity to do lesson number three. I'm going to tell you what the lesson is. We will read the article, and then after that, we'll just give a little synopsis on what I want to be able to share with my daughter. So this third lesson is called Strive for Success. One of the greatest challenges in life can be figuring out what you want and then having the courage to go after it. A father can help his daughter by giving her the tools she'll need to do just that. First, you have to help her out with finding out what those dreams are. Then you will have to give her the foundation to go after those dreams, says Bernard Percy, a former educator in New York City and Los Angeles Public Schools and author of Moments of Astonishment on Becoming a Better Dad. And that means giving her the opportunity to succeed so she has the confidence that she can do it. It's important to find and create the appropriate challenges for your daughters. When they overcome the right challenges for themselves, they will develop a level of certainty in their ability to creatively solve problems. Individuals thrive in the presence of a challenging environment. For example, if your teenage daughter has set her sights on a car, help her achieve this goal by giving her by agreeing to match every dollar she puts towards this vehicle. You want to be able to set goals for your children that are difficult but attainable so they feel the reward of hard work and self-confidence derived from their own successes. So as silly and simple as this sound, when I look at this Strive for Success and the advice that I want to be able to give to you, Ophelia, is you can do whatever you can. You can do whatever you want. You just need to be able to put your mind to it. And one of the earliest things that I've been able to learn from you is just your mindset and your determination to do whatever you want to do and not take no for an answer. So one of the things that I remember, and this was probably within the last couple of months, is you are now in a stage in your life where you want to do everything by yourself. You want to do it yourself. You want to be able to try whenever myself or your mother tries to help you doing something. You'll have your curt little no, and you'll just say it just like that. And you'll try and try and try until you're able to do it. And you usually do succeed. I think the what comes to mind to me is when you currently buckle your car seat, you have a top buckle and there's a bottle buckle. The top buckle, you always say, Ophelia, Ophelia buckle, Ophelia buckle. And then the bottom one, it's data buckle, data buckle. So I remember the first time we were getting ready for school and I'm looking at the clock and it is time for us to go and we just have to buckle you up and then just get to school so that we can get you to school on time so I can get to work on time. And I just remember putting you in a car seat and just as I am about to touch that buckle, you just tell me, no, Ophelia buckle, Ophelia buckle, Ophelia buckle. And me, you know, again, looking at the clock, it's time for me to go, it's time for me to go to work, but you just had just such resolve in making sure that you would be the individual that would do the buckle and not be, 
I couldn't do anything but just sit back and let you do that buckle. And it took a couple of minutes, you know, two minutes goes to three minutes, but just seeing the determination on your face and just seeing the joy on your face when you were able to push the buckle together and snap it, you were just so excited. And in looking at that, you know, I thought to myself, you know, this is who you are. Again, you are so strong, you are so confident, and you are so passionate in doing what you're doing, you're not going to take no for an answer and you're going to do whatever you need to do. So I, as your father, need to make sure that when these opportunities come up, I've got to embrace them. I've got to let you have your independence. I've got to allow for you to be able to try and do these things because as you start doing these things on your own, the more and more independent you become and the more independent you become, the more you'll be able to be a contributing member of society. So I just want you to know that, Ophelia, you can do, again, whatever you put your mind to, and I will be here to make sure that I am pushing you forward to allow for you to be able to do what you need to do. Right now, you have very, your passions are changing. Right now, your passion right now, you love airplanes. Airplanes and helicopters, anything that's up in the sky, you know, you look up, you see it, and you just get so excited when you're doing that. So for me, as your father, I've got to make sure that, you know, we are cultivating these things because who knows, maybe you would like to be a pilot when you grow up. I know in the past you were doing butterflies and things will change as the seasons change. But again, with this new passion of yours being wanting to do a pilot, wanting you to love airplanes and wanting you to enjoy helicopters, I've got to do whatever I can just to show these things to you because you never know that this is something that you may want to be able to do. But again, don't take no for an answer. If this is something that you want to do and whatever life tells you to do, don't be afraid to do that. And your mother and I are going to make sure that we are going to help you get to that point. And if ever, ever, ever anybody tells you that there is something that you can't do, don't take that no for an answer because you're stronger than that. You are my daughter. You are strong. You are beautiful. You can do anything that you can put your mind to. And just remember that whenever things get tough, you've got your father, you've got your dad who's got your back and is going to make sure that you can do whatever you can do. Now, remember, things in life may be challenging. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up. There are going to be times where you feel like you can't do it. But you just have to remember everything that you've gone through, everything in your life that you've been able to achieve and all the support that you have in your background. Because if you want something bad enough, you're going to go ahead and do it. I love this line that the article says right here. It is, it's important to find and create the appropriate challenges for your daughters. So there's going to be times, Ophelia, where you may want to do something, you may give up, and you're going to look at me, and you're going to want me to, you know, clean up. And, you know, there's a time where I may just have you go through it yourself just so that you can see that you can do it, so that you do become more confident. Right now you're doing swimming lessons and in those swimming lessons one of the things that you don't like is when i dunk you underwater or when water is over your head and i know that while you're doing the swimming it's something that's not fun it's not exciting but the reason why we're having you go to swim lessons the reason why we're having you get used to the water is that one of these days you are going to figure it out you're going to have your head on the water you're going to love it and it's going to be the next best thing so Again, there are going to be times where you feel like you can't do something, but we're putting you in these different situations so that you can succeed. And when you look back, you'll realize this was worth it. And hopefully you'll be happy that your mother and I did that for you. Well, again, this has been another Dear Affiliate Series MVP. Thank you for being a part of me and my way of being able to talk to my daughter. MVP, if you guys have any other ideas and thoughts about things that I can share with Ophelia, things, ideas that you feel are pertinent that a father should share with their daughter, please give me that advice. You know, Ophelia is turning two in a couple of weeks, and these last two years have been two of the best years of my life, and I'm looking forward to 222 more years of being her father. With that being said... MVP crew, 
This has been another Dear Affiliate series. Thank you so much for supporting us as we go through not only just the Dear Affiliate series, but also the Marshall Brothers podcast. If you guys are looking at different ways to be able to get at us, please feel free to check us out at Brothers at gmail.com. You also have an opportunity to be able to look for our podcast. You can find us at Marcel and Brothers Podcast at any podcast medium that you choose. And we also have a YouTube channel, so please don't hesitate to check us out on that. Again, this is myself, Harry, Jr., however you want to call me, riding solo today. Hopefully next week we'll get more of the crew. But with that being said, have a great rest of the week, and we will catch you guys next time. I'm out.